एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास टूडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द फूड माइक्रो बायोलॉजी विच इज़ मेनली वी आर हेयर मीन्स लाइक वी आर सेंटर्ड टू द फिश सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द फिश माइक्रो बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट होप यू ऑल हैव लाइक दोज हु हैव गिविन द जे आर एफ विल हैव बेटर एग्जाम एंड दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर विल विल हेल्प मोर दिस टाइम बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम वी हैव स्टार्टड लेट सो वी हैव नॉट प्रिपेयर दैट मच बट दिस टाइम वी विल ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट एवरी थिंग एंड इवन वी विल बी कम्प्लीटिंग लाइक वी हैव वी विल हैव अ लास्ट टाइम कोर्स लाइक यू कैन इन ब्रीफ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एवरी थिंग इन शॉर्ट सो वी विल बी स्टडिंग ऑल दैट मीन्स लाइक वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ क्रैश कोर्स in which you will be having less lecture but you will understand everything that we will be doing this time so in fish microbiology we uh, know that the fish uh, get introduced with the microorganism it can be anything like bacteria fungi virus anything can attack the fishes it may be because of the transient flora or it can be because of the natural flora too so fish are introduced by these microorganism and we need to remove that organism before having or consuming the fish so the main purpose is here to know which microorganism are affecting the fishes and why we need to come out of it we have know that the fish are like uh, 150 gram of fish contain 50 to 60% of the adult's daily protein means a uh, maximum protein can we can get with the fish itself and fish illness like uh, fish mainly get affected it can be because of the scrombo toxic fish poisoning or it can be sigua toxic fish poisoning or it can be microbiological cause so if we are considering that how much percent of the fish uh, born illness is because of so 40% of the fish born illness is because of scrombo toxic fish poisoning and the uh, rest 20% will be because of the sigua toxic fish poisoning and the rest like 40 plus 20 is 60 then other 40% is due to the microbiological cause so this micro flora as i have already told that can be natural flora or transient flora these natural flora it can be because when we harvest the fish that time the natural flora can affect the fishes or that can be the transient flora so we need to care for all these thing when we are going to harvest the fish we should have to care for it so that the fish cannot be attacked by the microorganism transient flora here we are mean by the environment handling or processing or storage etc the micro bio uh, by uh, microbial load are the uh, higher in intestine this is important point to know that uh, if we are asked that uh, micro bi- uh, microbial load are maximum in which part of the fish that can be the intestine followed by the gills and the skin then fresh water fish have more mesophilic bacteria than the cold water fish this point is also to remember human pathogen can be commensal bacteria not human pathogen present on the live fish the marine bacteria naturally occurring like vibrio parahemolyticus and vibrio vulnificus they are illness to man so uh, we have uh, like we will study the zoonotic pathogen also in this chapter we will be studying in detail about all the thing the commensal bacteria are not pathogen to human the but the rest are they can cause illness to man the clostridium botulinum is also one of that that is the naturally occurring occurring marine bacteria history of the if we are talking about the history of the microorganism in food then the first uh, who gave the suggestion of microorganism in food spoilage was the kircher one of uh, among was there in 1658 
then uh, theory of spontaneous generation was occurring so l spallingeny was the first who gave that uh, it is because of the air that uh, caused the microorganism to grow in 1765 then swannick principle came in 1837 that to approve the theory of spontaneous generation then he uh, given his uh, swannick principle for that then canning of meat for glass bottles was first given by the nicolas appert and we will be studying canning process in which we will going to know that how canning is done so to remove the microorganism or to increase the shelf life of uh, the fish in 1809 it was given then after that pasha was first to understand the role of the microorganism and uh, simultaneously he has given many thing like sorting of milk in 1837 he gave then other time uh, like in fishes also they he gave uh, like how are fish affected by the microorganism and all so he was the first to understand so th these are the microorganism in food how it get started and how it is improved by the scientist that uh, we came to know now so this was all about that uh, in the introduction of the food microbiology Simil similarly we will be studying all th uh, the lectures in this chapter day by day and this is uh, introduction part of food microbiology thanks for watching and if you like the channel then please do like and subscribe and we will be uh, continuing this topic food microbiology thank you